18. Weather from where you live. Well, 50s this evening, and that wind's still making it feel a little cool outside. There'll be a lot of clouds around. I wouldn't rule out a sprinkle or a brief, very light shower here or there. Then clearing by 11, it will begin to fall into the 40s at that point. Again, a lot of clouds around. Can't rule out a couple of spits of rain, but once we get the clearing tonight, that'll lead to a mostly sunny tomorrow. The good news is, even though we got this big storm developing on the east coast that may bring heavy rain and snow here, it's tracking farther east. Remember the last one? It went right up through this area and dislodged a chunk of cool air into our area and shut off the warmth. This one is tracking well to the east, up towards Boston. So that means we won't get as much influence from this one as the last one. And then our Thursday system is still off to the west. That'll bring some rainfall by that time. But a lot of sun tomorrow morning, leading to increasing and thickening clouds. Tomorrow afternoon and into the evening, 34 for the low. They'll be up to 61 by afternoon and even upper 50s by around lunchtime. There won't be quite as much wind tomorrow as what we saw today. Now on Thursday, scattered showers increasing to a pretty steady rain by evening and into a Thursday night with a high only around 54 and a pretty stiff east wind. It'll be a windy day. Winds east, east, southeast, sustained at 16. Some gusts up to 30 miles an hour. The good news is for Purdue Spring Fest, it's a green light. It looks good. Partly cloudy Saturday morning. Kind of cool in the 40s, but then a pretty strong south southwest wind in the afternoon. Partly cloudy and a high of 73. That would make it the warmest day so far of 2019. So here we go. Here's precision cast. Couple sprinkles or a light shower. Then we clear out. A lot of sunshine tomorrow morning, giving way to increasing and thickening clouds tomorrow afternoon. With a few showers coming in tomorrow night at times and lasting into Thursday morning, they'll be scattered about and very off and on for part of Thursday before a more widespread rain comes in Thursday evening. Kind of peaks Thursday evening and into Thursday night with total rainfall by early Friday of a half to one inch. Pretty much viewing area wide. There is the most widespread rainfall Thursday evening and night. That system departs and then nice and warm for the weekend before this storm system moves our way and brings showers and even a few thunderstorms uh, by Sunday night. Notice this is the data I've taken. I've taken the shear, I've taken the lift, and the instability and overlaid the two to show you kind of a severe weather index. This is severe cast. You can see right here, this is where the main severe weather threat is on Thursday. Notice by Sunday evening, a few little bits of gray. That means can't completely rule out a very isolated severe storm, but the better severe potential is setting up south of our area. 70 forecast, normal high is now upper 50s to near 60. 61 tomorrow, a little cool Thursday, but 62 Friday. And then nice and warm for the weekend and still warm Monday and Tuesday of next week. I am happy about yes. that weekend forecast. It's about time. Thank you, Chad. Okay. Well, a big honor for